Well, today we're removing rust from these turnbuckles on this uh, metal awning we're using our special formula for rust removal. And uh, it's leaving a stain from rain and stuff slowly drips down on the awning, removing some of the metals and creating a rust. I have a little technique going here where we're applying the rust remover. And we're going back up and Kind of a slow process, but it's getting done pretty quickly here. We'll be back to you in just a bit. Bye bye now. Okay, we're just going over this the second time. How's it looking, Cat? Good. Excellent. Very good. After we let this sit for a little while, we'll put a neutralizer on it. What we have is uh, two teams working here. One does the initial cleaning and then Kathy here on the second team is going over his work just to make sure it's all covered. Sometimes one person will miss something and the other person will get it. So it's good to have two different people, two different teams. Sometimes it's a little difficult to work in a shopping center because you have all sorts of hazards. Parking stops, uh, curbs. We're working early on a Saturday morning trying to avoid people. Even though this is a mild product, you still wouldn't want to get any on anyone. Okay, Kathy's about to need some more chemical on her the head of her brush here. So let me show you how dirty that is just from cleaning. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Okay, let me reload this and be back with you in just a bit. Well, on some of this we have to go back a third time because the chemical is uh, not cutting it the first and second time, but I think we'll be okay. Just fixing those spots that can't be done. I'm going to put some more For those of you who would like to learn how to clean awnings professionally, we teach classes Oh, about eight times a year where you come here to Fort Worth and we spend some time learning about awning, awning material, how to clean the different materials, what protectorant or sealers go on awnings, and we'll even show you some great videos and let you take home thousands of pictures of awnings and before and afters and some videos and of course lots of good teaching material, things to give your customers, invoices, um, all the advertising thing to get customers. Um, we've been doing this since uh, 1984 so we've learned a few things about not only the cleaning process but also how to market your skill. Very important. As I always tell the students that uh, you can learn how to do a skill but until you market it it's uh, really that's the key. Just because you know how to do something doesn't mean much. It's actually getting the business to do it. So we go into some of those details on how to work with people that have awnings and how to contact them and what to say to them. It's a very good class. I wish I had it when I got started. <laughs> Would have saved me lots of learning curve. But you can contact me uh, and I'll be happy to 
talk with you. See if the course is right for you. Just give me a call. Available most any time. You can see this isn't uh, brain surgery really. It's just knowing a few things and how to approach it. We've had about uh, oh, almost 500 people now go through the class and training over those years. I've had some students go out and make $100,000 their first year cleaning awnings. And that's not always guaranteed because it depends on how assertive you are and how hard you're willing to work to find customers. But it is possible. So uh, can be done. Just uh, up to you how much work you want to put in. At first, you'll just be finding lots of customers. You won't be uh, working a whole lot actually doing the cleaning. You'll be doing more of the uh, finding. But it's just like a farmer planting a field. You've got to plant. The harvest comes later. And that's what I find. You just keep advertising, keep promoting yourself in the proper manner, and going out and talking to people, uh, giving free sample cleanings, all those things, uh, handing your card out, going to the right people, really makes a big difference building your business. All right, I think we're going to stop this part of the video right now. Kathy, how's things going? Good. Very good. All right. A job like this, like I said, is pretty unique. Generally, we don't do this much rust removal. There's always awnings that uh, have signage above it, and the rain and dew will drip off the signs and often leave some rust. And generally, that's on canvas awnings. And this particular product can also be used on canvas awnings to remove the rust. All right, this is Wayne with Specialized Maintenance awning cleaning service out of Dallas Fort Worth Texas signing out maybe we'll finish off by showing you the neutralizing process but if I don't get to that thanks for viewing the video and as always have a great day thanks bye bye okay we're now doing the neutralizing step on this these metal awnings just neutralizing the uh, rust remover doesn't require a great deal of effort just to cover the area that uh, we put the chemical on. Well here it is all cleaned up nice and uh, beautiful. Got that rust off. I really don't know how old these awnings are. At least uh, I'd say three or four years old. But just the way they're designed and the way the turnbuckles and the eye bolts are it just really creates some rust strippage. Anyway, that's my report. Thanks for watching and have a great day as always. Bye-bye.